Okay, so in honor of the 20th year anniversary of Action 52, I figured I might as well go and review it myself. Now, I know it's been done to death, like, who knows how many times. But, I don't know, I guess I guess you can treat this as, as a special occasion. I just felt like reviewing something different for once. And, you know, what better way to kick off, you know, my return to reviewing? So, I mean, whichever. Anyways... Let's start at the top. Fire Breathers. Two-player only game. Like, maybe two sound effects. And I, I don't know about, uh... Armex saying that they look a bit ahead of the Atari. I mean, I'd, I'd pinpoint that closer to the, uh... Sega Master System. But yeah, I mean, it, it doesn't... It doesn't look, uh... Anything... Anything spec spectacular. It's nothing to write home about. And yes, I am recording this as I'm playing, so... Forgive the review if it's not exactly up to par. And, uh... There we go. Uh... Oh. Select button. Star Evil! Gotta move to the... Shit! <laughs> God damn it, I moved to the right and I still die. Now, I, I don't know much about NES games, so I mean that this isn't going to be exactly like a super informative review or anything like that. You know, it's just, I, I can tell you this much though, is that the main issue with Action 52's games is that none of them were bug tested. So they are very, very buggy. You'll see parts of the screen that'll glitch out, maybe sometimes the game will lock up, maybe sometimes it won't even work at all. And maybe even the score counter will just glitch up at, at random, and... Oh, come on, man! <sighs> Jesus. So yeah, a lot of things are gonna glitch up. The screen, the score counter, even the cartridge will freeze up at random. Sometimes even the ROM doesn't work, which I am playing on the ROM right now. I'm not playing on a, uh, on a cartridge. I don't have an NES, sorry. And, uh, Jesus. Okay, let, let's see. You see the screen's just going totally out of whack. If I run into that wall, I'll die, so let's try to avoid that. But I'll tell you this much right now. Virtually every single bad NES game that Armake has ever reviewed, I have played. And yes, they are just as bad as he, as he says they are. Ah, finally. That wasn't so bad, and... Yeah, thanks for not replenishing my health. You know what, I'm just, I'm just gonna hold down the fire button. Now, I do have turbo functions, it... Alright, this is getting a little... I didn't even... I, I didn't even touch the frickin' block and I died. What the hell? Alright, Illuminator. Here we go. Oh, great. <laughs> I'm gonna die a lot on this game. I can I can already see that see that happening. Where, where am I? I can't see where I am. <sighs> it's, it's like you can't... It, you can, like, barely make out where you are. And, you know, it's especially troublesome when going down a ladder. If I remember correctly, though, Mark actually, he, he didn't actually get too far into this. I mean, he tried. I, I mean, I don't really, I don't really care, so... <laughs> I'm just gonna see, just gonna see how far I can get in each of these games, but... Wow. Let's go again. I mean, enemies 
just... They just appear at random, it's like... Jesus. And if you pay attention, you notice that the screen keeps glitching out. Like, this, this thing was never bug-tested. There's a couple games, though, that we didn't actually see in Mark's review that we'll see here, because they work on the ROM. Was it Luke? I think it was called, like... What, how was it pronounced? Like... Alfred and the Fetus? Oh, I'm at level two! I think these guys are like a... a faster variant of the basic enemies. Oh, great. Come on! There we are. Yay! Why do they not move, some of them? I mean, like those shadow guys, like they... They just stop moving at like one point. What the hell? See this dude right here, he's not even moving. I think there were manuals for this, too. Wow. I think, th I think there were manuals for each of these games. But they, they were like, one dollar a piece or something? Oh, I know what this one is! Now let's see if that trick works. <laughs> it actually works! I'm not taking a single hit! And all I'm doing is holding down the turbo button that I have mapped to the, uh, the 360 gamepad that I'm using. And as, as I said before, speaking of turbo functions, I'm actually going to show you something on Ooze, which is coming right up in a couple minutes. Level 2 already. Darn it. Pretty low on health there. <coughs> wow, it's... Even at best, like, let's just say these games had no bugs in them, the screen didn't glitch out, nothing like that, all the games worked, the cartridge or ROM didn't lock up whatsoever, they wouldn't be anything good either. Because they're just the most simplistic of space shooters and platformers, no diversity to them whatsoever, no attempt to change up the gameplay, nothing like that. That is what all these games exhibit. I mean, there's a couple of them that aren't so bad, but really it's... Just simple platformers, simple space shooters, simple side-scrollers. Nothing, n no inspiration, no ingenuity, no design, nothing like that. They're just all basic stuff. I mean, this game would barely be recommendable if it sold for like 20 bucks. And, wow. I, I actually just beat the frickin' thing. Okay, I didn't expect that. Let's try to actually play tactically. Come on, let, let's, let's, oh fun. I know I'm kind of imitating Mark's review here, but, I mean, what else is there to say? The most simplistic of their genre, in terms of design, and they're so buggy, they hardly even work. I mean, I'm surprised, I'm surprised the ROM even works. I'm surprised Mark was even able to get the cartridge to work. Okay, I don't think I lasted even 20 seconds there. Darn it. Come on. Uh. Hey, see, all you gotta do is just position the ship like this, and that's it. I'm just holding down the fire button, that's it. Uh, shit, I fell out of position. So all you gotta do is hold down the fire button and just stay right here. I mean, level three, all I had to do was move the ship all the way over to the left. I didn't, I didn't even have to change my direction, nothing like that. Literally, this, the spot that I spawned in, I just had to move all the way to the left, that was it. Alright, this is... Yeah, I'm, I'm bored with this game. Okay, ooze. Here we go. Ooh, its own title sequence. Now, wasn't there like a, a contest or something where you could win like 104 grand? You had to get up to at least level 5? I, I think... Yeah, I, I think... 
that, that was the case, but apparently it, it, the game glitched out around level 3 or something like that. Now, watch this. If you use a turbo button to jump, the jumping behaves normally. <coughs> it doesn't do that if you're using just a basic controller, but if you have a turbo controller, the jumping mechanics will behave normally. I think it is actually possible to play through this game if you use save states on the emulator. What is that blue blob? Yeah, if you take one hit, you die. Much like Contra, right? I... Darn it! Yeah, just like Contra, except without the good controls or the fun factor or anything like that. Okay. Like, I can't even talk. I'm trying to concentrate here. Ah! Blue blob avoided. And sometimes the enemies just, like, appear a split second before... It's like they appear, and you only have a split second to react. That's how you'll die most of the time in this game. Is enemies just spawning out of nowhere. Oh, cripes. Oh, god. Ah, darn it. I bet you that was the end of the level, too. Shit! Darn it. You know what I'd love to see? I'd love to see a remake of this. Like, uh... Like on the Xbox Live Arcade or something like that. Like, I think a Yar's Revenge is being re-released. It was a 2600 game. Make something like this, except make it like Todd's Slime World. Or, or Slime World, yeah. That, it was that shooter on the Sega Genesis. Yeah, it was called Slime World. The main character, the main character's name was Todd. That was co-op too. Make ooze something like that. Ah, Jesus. Yeah, it's it's tough to play this freaking game. I mean, I've seen Mark's review of Action 52. I don't know how many times. Like, I can't even count how many times I've seen it. There comes a. What? Ah. I'm starting to get a little agitated here. Well, I tried. Silver Sword. I remember this one. Oh yeah, look, you see that you... You fire the hilt. It, the animation isn't changed. I, shit. Yeah, see? Look. The hilt comes out first. Same as that. There's only two animations for the, for the sword firing mechanic. You fire down or left, the hilt comes out first. Oh my god, and the screen is glitching out so badly. With all these enemies appearing too, like, how are you supposed to defend yourself? Especially considering these controls are so tank-like, there's no fluid movement here. God, it's, it's like something that came off the Atari 2600, for crying out loud. Oh my god, I've actually made it this far, and I think I just jinxed myself, but I don't care. Okay. You know, I... Th <sighs> Darn it. I think your best option in this game is just to run. Because if you try and fight, you're just gonna die. Oh! No, I'm not done yet. I'm going back in. Come on. Serious... No way to defend yourself whatsoever. Or to effectively defend yourself.
You know, I actually know, I actually know who created this. Well, I don't know him personally, but I know his name. His name's Vince Perry. He's from Miami, Florida, and apparently he created Action 52. Because, um, apparently his, his son had bought, like, a cartridge of, like, 40 NES games from, like, Thailand. He imported it from Thailand. And I guess Vince wanted to recreate that, but the legal way, because this was, like, an illegal import. So... Apparently, college students program this thing. That's that's the only thing I remember from it. I don't know who he, who else he had design or working on this game. I don't know who he who he had manufacture the uh, the cartridges. But yeah, though Active Enterprises was not a professional studio. Just a pun bunch of people, or one guy with a dream but no talent, who hired a bunch of other talentless hacks to work on this game. Of course, there's the whole thing with the Cheetah Men, which... That this had sort of a sordid history, like it was a marketing ploy. Uh, oh, darn it. It was like a sordid history that it was a marketing ploy to launch the Cheetah Men franchise, and apparently there was a comic and a line of action figures and even a TV series plan. Now, I personally would have liked to have seen that come into fruition. Like, if that thing could have actually been created, that would have been interesting. Because, you know, I don't, I don't shy away from new ideas, no matter how bad they are. I always like trying new things. I always like to experience new things. I don't care how crappy it sounds or how crappy it ends up, but, you know, at least you can say you tried. I mean, unlike most folks who see this as like a, a Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle ripoff that Cheetah Men. No, I actually see it as something something interesting. I mean, come on, you, you I'm a guy who's for a live action Digimon movie for crying out loud. Like I love that show and I'd love to see a live action movie made. Not so much a Pokemon guy. Though I'd go and see a, li a live action Pokemon too if it was actually uh if it was actually created. I don't shy away from anything. Alright, th this is kind of getting redundant. I'm getting nowhere here. <sighs> Damn it. Come on! Alright, I've had enough of Silver Sword. Critical Bypass, what's this? Alright, I can barely make out anything here. Oh my god, and the screen is going so schizo on me. Apparently the direction you're moving in is... the direction you fire in. And by default, you fire to the right. Oh no, the, the last direction you were moving... Okay, now I got it. The last direction you were physically moving your flying saucer in is the direction you fire in. Like, see? Last direction I moved in was up, I fired up. Last direction I moved in was left, I fired left. Ah. Hash browns of death kill me again. Crates hurt you, hash browns hurt you, I'm surprised the rocks don't kill you too. So yes, the last direction you physically moved your flying saucer in is the direction you fire, and by default when you first start out, you fire to the right. I get it now. And anytime you want to change the direction you fire in, you have to move your character. Yeah. This design is flawed written all over it. Oh, come on! Oh, I already took three hits, and I'm barely in. Yeah, that... Th wow. Serious, just wow. My god, Vince, you royally screwed up. It's a good thing I didn't pay $200 for this thing. Oh, come on! I'm also going to try to keep the cursing to a minimum, so if you're expecting me to break out into a swearing rage, it's not going to happen. Unless I really get sent over the edge. Jesus. Okay, now, now I'm actually starting to see why so many kids were pissed off 
Because their parents spent $200 on this thing. $200 for this. It's kind of like me when I freaking bought the Halo 3 Legendary Edition. Paid 130 bucks for that. Okay. I can feel your pain now, guys. Yay, the Meteor Proof Buildings. What? One hit. One hit, I'm dead. Oh well, at least I don't need to wait till I like fire a single shot and wait till it reaches the end of the screen. So I can fire again. No, it's automatic. Good thing. Good to know. You know, maybe I should just sit here. Maybe I should just like sit here and, and watch and see what happens. Okay. Serious, it's like... You know what, I'm gonna count how many space shooters we have in here. Th this is two. This is the second space shooter here. What are we... Oh no, wait, we're on, we're on the planet Jupiter. What is that? This thing right here. I mean, before, I it was like the moon was there, and now... What is that? Is like a, that like a black hole or something? the hell? Yeah, Mark never actually got up to level 2 in this game. Alright, so there's a few games in here that aren't exactly super buggy and super broken, but the screen glitches out in every last one of them, I think. Every one of them except the Cheetah Men. I could be wrong about that. Alright, this is getting a little redundant here. Yep, and the music loops. Some of the music isn't so bad, though. I admit that. And there's some elements of this game that, you know, aren't so bad. And as I said, I have played this game before. Many times, actually. I, I, ma I mainly focused on, uh, streamers. Shit. These meteorites are falling fast now. I mean, I'm, I mainly focused on streamers and the Cheetah Men, because streamers is actually a pretty fun game. I'm going to see if I can beat it today. Come on. I don't know, I guess you got to score like... 3,000 points per round. I'll tell you something, I'd much rather play this game than a select few other games out there, that's for damn sure. One of them being one of the Army Men games. Which I did, I will tell you guys right now, I did start working on the Army Men Chronicles again, but Fraps, Fraps doesn't want to work with the original Army Men for some reason, so I'm having a bit of trouble on that. Okay, can we send some more meteorites at me, please? I'd like to get this over with. Because this game is getting very redundant right now. Well, there's one. I was off, like, by what, one millimeter? Maybe I should just sit here, and just let, let the meteorites fall. I mean, I don't think I'm on a time limit. Could be wrong, though. Come on, die. Give me some more meteorites out here. Now the music's looping for the third time. This round. Oh, as soon as I stop firing, the meteorites start rolling in. Okay, I get it now. Don't fire, the meteorites will roll in. What? I just got like 3,000 points. What the hell, guys? 
die. Jeez, how long is this frickin' level? Man, this is actually... Le level... What the... Oh my god. Another level? Serious? Alright, let's get 10,000 points and we'll call it a day. How's that sound? Come on, meteorites. Don't be shy. I don't bite. I'd love to see the angry German kid play this. That would just be awesome. Just imagine him just... grabbing his NES controller and just breaking the thing to pieces at the end. Serious, I have never seen acting that, gen that genius before. Like, that was so convincingly real. Alfredo, I... Uh. Okay, yeah, here's the game that didn't work. That sound when he attacks. I think that's like the recycled sound effect from Ooze. Oh, man. You can barely see these guys just mindlessly charging at you because the screen constantly glitches out. <sighs> Just gotta move slowly, I guess. Like, I can't even talk, because I gotta constantly watch the edge of the screen for a frickin', I guess you could say, banana on wheels to come mindlessly charging at me, a banana, mustard bottle, whatever it is. Again, another one of those games where you need to move after pressing jump. And the turbo, the turbo function doesn't really work all that well either in this game. Oh! What? No way. I'm not gonna let that discourage me. Pretty much memorize when the enemies are going to charge at me now, so. You know, actually, who else I'd love to see play this game is Wizwar. I don't think he's ever played this game before. I mean, I know he played Deadly Towers, which I've played that game too, actually. It's pretty bad, but I don't think he's ever played Action 52 before. I'd actually like to see him do a playthrough of this. Uh. Oh! <sighs> Damn it! You gotta, you gotta be kidding me now! Wow, that, that just killed my motivation. Oh, like half an hour into... Goodbye. Goodbye, Alfred and the Fetus, or whatever your name is. Operation Full Moon. Green screen. Hold on a second, let's see if that stump kills me. What? The stumps kill me. The... Oh my... Alright. Alright. What? 
Enemies just magically... Enemies just magically popping into view now? Alright, out of all the games I've played, the screen in this game is the glitchiest out of all of them. Just watch the top of the screen. Watch as they start off as little stumps and then the enemies just magically pop into view. See? Like, what just happened there? Oh, brother. Okay, that was kind of tough. Level 2. Ah, blue screen now. What, are we going all chroma key on me here, Operation Full Moon? Looks like it. What are you going to do next? Cayenne screen? <sighs> oh, how, how are you supposed to get by that? Come on. It's like impossible to get by. Either you take a hit and risk dying, so you die at the most sporadic moments in this game, or you just, you take your chances with that and you die anyway. Guns are so awkwardly placed, too. Wow. And the, the frame rate can't even keep up at times. You see, I, I had to take a hit there. It's one hit. Another hit, I'm dead. So what's the storyline of this game? Are we on the moon? Are we fighting bad guys? What? Give me a story. Level... Oh! Yeah, I, I ain't playing you again. Damn Busters. Damn, he's a buster. <laughs> oh, okay, I apologize for that. And Winnie the Pooh! Look, it's Winnie the Pooh, guys! Fighting evil bears. Didn't Mark make, make like a remark about fighting furries or something? Let's bring Renamon in here, you know? I, how am I supposed to dodge that? Serious. Gun, I thought the enemies were sporadic in Operation Full Moon. Wait, what if I go over here? Oh, I can't. Wow, that's gotta be the most genius design I've seen so far in this game. Roadways that you actually have to stick to. Yep, there's sporadic pop-ups. All the enemies. There's no... There's no set path, it's all sporadic. Alright, that should make for some... Half-decent challenge factor. God, this reminds me so much of World War II combat. It's like it's all based on sheer dumb luck. And of course, memorization of the enemies doesn't work here like it did in World War II combat. Wonder if the developers... What was it, Groove Games or something like that? Jarhead Games? Gee, I wonder if they played Action 52 back in the day. Maybe they were scarred for life by their experiences in Action 52. And decided, hey, kids! Or, no, no, sorry. Hey, guys, let's go, uh, let's go make a World War II shooter and make it reminiscent of Dam Busters in Action 52. Everyone was like, oh, yeah, that sounds so amazing. I can just picture them sitting there right now. Wow. Gee, I guess you don't send Winnie the Pooh on combat missions, eh? You know, I, I wish that there would actually be a Winnie the Pooh movie where he gets sent on a frickin' combat mission. That would just be hysterical. 
like like a Dead Rising. That would be awesome. You, you send them to a freaking freaking uh town full of zombies, and that th that would just be awesome. Like give him a mission, rescue Frank West, and take some pictures while you're at it. And then all of a sudden he gets there, and all of a sudden it's, it's these creatures from freaking Dam Busters, and he's like, oh god. What was that? Did that just give me an extra life or something? Oh, yeah. Oh no, it increased my speed. God, this is like worse than Cheyenne Ryu. Though Cheyenne Ryu is actually a good game, so... I can't complain there. It's a really bad space shooter game. Well, the ones in here, obviously. Oh, and that, that reminds me. Three space shooters. Operation Full Moon, it made it to level two. Yeah, Operation Full Moon, we've come across three whole space shooters now. What? Oh, that's right, you gotta wait till the bullet disappears off screen before you can fire another one. Damn, but, or thrusters. Four space shooters. Yay. I'm getting bored here. Okay. Okay, so we're a butterfly fighting other creatures or God, this makes me want to play Shine Ryu. Never did beat that game. Got up to level 6. Couldn't, couldn't get past a certain part. Maybe I should get that Japanese import. Shine Ryu X or something like that. It was a sequel to Shine Ryu. Holy shit, did you see that frame rate? One hit, I'm dead. Oh, perfect. I'm not even gonna try touching those things, whatever they are. The U-shaped candy canes or something like that. Half donuts. Magnets, whatever you want to call them. Not even gonna try touching them, because they probably kill me. Okay, no, it's two hits, because I just took a hit there. Two hits are dead. There's nothing else to say. It's a generic space shooter. Come on, man, let's get Dio in here. You remember that dude? Level 4? Cheyenne Ryu, anyone? And then, of course, you got Cheyenne Ryu, who just totally obliterates the dude at the end. Like, he gets, he gets prepared to, like, shoot his mega cannon at you, and then all of a sudden, Cheyenne Ryu comes in and just kaboom! Yeah, I saw the ending. I, I spoiled the ending for myself. Yeah, let's get him in here. What? Okay, first it's two hits, now it's one? Would you make up your mind? You're so schizo. Hey, let's try crashing into one of these things. Four shitty space shooters. Haunted hit halls. Oh. Yeah, because I can see defending yourself is going to be a real treat here. Was that one of the ghosts from Pac-Man just now? Shit, I actually got a kill. Oh, man! Timed it too late. You gotta time it, like, just right. Otherwise, it won't work. I didn't think that was gonna go. Oh, shit. I actually pulled myself out of that rut. Whew. Again, another close call. I don't think I'll get lucky a third time in these haunted halls. 
It's the freaking demented ghosts from Pac-Man. They've been absorbed by Action 52 and have turned evil. As me, the... long-haired Hercules, or... Is it a woman? Okay, as me, the... the brave hero with a ninja star, it's up to me to stop them, and... Oh! Oh shit, I just got pwned by the evil skull himself. Yeah, I know, you're pretty pissed that Pac-Man kept eating you, so you're out to kill me now, eh? What's the storyline of this game? Anybody know? And yes, much like 99% of the other games here, you need to wait until your shot reaches the end of the screen before you can fire another one, so if you miss, Oh, I gotcha. I pwned ya. Pwned ya, bitch. So yeah, if, if you miss at, like, point-blank range, you're screwed. wonder if this is related to the Elder Scrolls at all. Oh, man, he's... Ah, damn it. Yeah, that was getting pretty tough back there. Um, darn it. Speaking of, uh, of our make, yeah. Screw you, Haunted Hill, or whatever your name is. Chill out! Oh, I remember this. An ape! A gorilla! Is this... Is it... Yep, this is a game where you, like, you fall two inches, you die. Uh... Oh, great. The jumping mechanics don't even work properly here. And yes, it's one of the... The turbo function doesn't work properly here. It too delays. Between the time you press the button and the time your character actually jumps. And it's also another one of those games where you need to move after pressing the jump button. Ah. Come on, die. Okay, wait for the slow motion bullet to go by. Level two. Oh, wait. Did that en enemy just cross the bridge? Okay, why does he get to cross the bridge yet I... Or, or, did he cross the gap or something? Why does he get to cross the frickin' gap? Yet I try it and I die. Oh! Come on! Wow. Uh, I'm not even through a third of the game yet. Ah. I'd be screwed if there wasn't another ladder. God, this has got like the buggiest AI ever. I want to go play some Jurassic Park. You know, something that's actually good. Fight that T-Rex again. Have a rematch with him. Okay, how am I getting up this far? Oh, you see? I'm screwed here. There's no way around this. You see? I had to take a hit. I had to take one for the team. You know, speaking of a uh, speaking of Atari, actually, uh, Nolan Bushnell, he's actually back as the uh, the lead advisor of Atari. He says he says Atari's coming out with some stuff that'll knock your socks off. Yeah, but we'll see about that, Nolan. I'm at level four. Oh, evil snowball of death. Are we fighting evil snowballs now? Y 
Yar, snowball die. Yep, I took a hit. There's no getting around that one. Maybe there was. I could have gone to the effing right. Trying to keep my cursing in check, it's... It's getting to me. Oh my god. Again, another sporadic enemy pop-up. Memorization is useless. Amazing how you can go from, like, one side of the screen to the next. That's pretty cool, actually. <sighs> Christ, I think I'm gonna need to sit through Howl's Moving Castle three times to wash the bad taste out of my mouth after this. I love that movie. I don't know about you guys, but I, I really love that movie. Howl's Moving Castle, great movie. Hey, why do, why doesn't the why does my turbo function work anymore? The hell! Time to take a beating. But yeah, I I love how Miyazaki's work. Ah, oh, God! Yeah, chill out. That's getting pretty tough to do. Sharks, the jaws rip off. Let's see if I can kill someone with an epic fart beam. See? See if I can kill someone like that. It's easier to do it with, uh, without the turbo function. Do, 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 do. I should put that on a frickin' MP3. I, damn it. Ow. They just appear, like, in the middle of the frickin'... Yes! I killed someone with an epic fart beam. Do 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 Oh my god, I gotta put this on my iPod. <laughs> just just play it when I'm like when I'm uh, when I'm going to work, you know? Be like, I'm on a mission. I'm on a serious fucking mission. Oops. No no wait wait, I I guess that was appropriate. I guess that cursing was appropriate. Be like, yeah, serious mission is serious. Do 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 Or better yet, they should use it in Mission Impossible 4. I, th I think that's coming out, actually. But yeah, aside of killing sharks with epic fart beams, there's nothing to really be said about this game aside of that catchy theme song. I have played Jaws, too, as I stated before. I was never able to kill Jaws. I got real close, and then Jaws ran away like a little baby. It was a power level three. Oh! Whew, epic fart beam saves me. Ah. Imagine if the situations had been reversed, I'd be dead by now. Yeah, aside of that catchy tune, there's... and the, the epic fart beam, there's really nothing to be said about this game. It is another... Generic side-scrolling shooter. We're up to four space shooters. I'm not keeping track of side-scrolling shooters, though. Somebody give me a copy of G. Darius already and... Level two? Oh, white shark. Okay, so there is some enemy diversity. Okay, I thought the white sharks... White sharks were supposed to be faster, but... The gray sharks are moving just as fast as they are. So what's the point of changing up the enemies? If the gray sharks are just gonna move faster. Oh, I see it. Epic fart beam no work against white sharks. Ah! They don't even reach the end of the screen before they glitch out. Oh, whoa, whoa. Die.
Uh, okay, so they do die in one hit. But no, the enemies just keep glitching out when they reach, like, the last one-eighth of the screen, or one-tenth or sixteenth, or however long this little portion is. Like, that, that little portion doesn't even take up half the shot. Which, the shot disappears before it reaches the end of the screen, too. God. These games are terrible. No, I, I fully feel your pain, guys. You know, Silent Rob, Armec 21, all you guys. Everyone who got totally raped by Action 52 that Christmas. Or b that year. It was Action 52. Action 52 was released in either May or September of 1991. There's no real set date. No one actually knows for sure when it was released. But for those of you whose parents bought this, or if you managed to save up the money and buy it, I totally feel for you guys. I hope you guys returned it and got your money back. Because if you didn't... Or the store said, no, we don't take returns. Oh, I'd be pretty pissed myself. I mean, at least I was able to return Halo 3, because I didn't like it. Thanks to GameStop. I can't even reach the bottom of the freaking screen. Can someone please make a remix of this catchy song, though? I like it. Level three. Oh. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. I'm in trouble. Ah, man. I'm in trouble now. I'll never be a match for these jellyfish. Yep, I'll never get out of here. The developers n did not intend for the player to pass level 3. Can I kill at least one of these things? Their patterns are utterly random, too. There's no additional music tracks, either. something just come at me? Come on. Ah, Jesus. Nothing's happening. Getting restless here. Yarg, jellyfish die. No sharks, just jellyfish. Are we gonna fight Jaws later on? A gigantic shark that takes like ten beams to kill? Ten epic fart beams. Yeah, there we go. There's two different animations depending on how you time your shots, actually. Like, there's one where you can see the guy turning you know, just after the shot's fired. And there's there's a, the other animation where, depending on how fast you are, it actually looks like he just fired a harpoon out of his ass. Oh, and I almost had a kill there. God, these things can teleport. Oh, look! See? <laughs> Alright, I'm, I'm kind of done with this game. Nah, I can't, I can't get a kill. Some other day. Megalonia. What is this? Oh god, the fifth space shooter. You gotta wait till your shot reaches the end of the screen before you can fire another one. Christ. Don't tell me this is... Okay, at least the enemies shoot back now.
Oh shit, our demented birthday cake boss. Great, you can't even turn. Demented birthday cake boss, go! Oh look, look, see? The flames were stuck on the other side of the screen. Just watch the left side of the screen. See? The flames are on the other side of the screen. <laughs> Yay, Demented Birthday Cake 1 is dead. Man, this screen is glitching up like mad. What is this? Is this like Casino Night Zone Hell Edition? I mean, what does that landscape look like to you? It looks like the black and pink forest with heart-shaped or arch-slash-heart-shaped decoration that you find at some twisted casino. It's like a combination of Cinderella and Twisted Metal. <laughs> I got nothing left to say! Five crappy space shooters! Oh my god. Yeah. Nothing to say on this one. Sorry, guys. I got nothing. Literally nothing. So let's see how far I can get. Like, there's a delay in the control, too. Like, there's a split-second delay from the time where I actually... from where the analog stick actually reaches as high as it can go, and from where my ship actually starts moving. And, oh god, I gotta fight Demented Birthday Kick number two. Yep, I'm dead. Game over! <laughs> you will not be missed. French Baker. Oh my god. Yep. Shot at the end of screen style firing mechanism is here too. What the hell are these things? This is. God, I would rather play World War II combat right about now. Or our victory. Gee, anyone play any good games lately? Let's go for another round. Hey! Ugh. Run! Yeah, the hell with you, French Baker. Atmos Quake. Gee, I'd love to play Quake Run, but now six space shooters, six crappy space shooters, and counting, folks. Your spaceship actually looks pretty cool, though. It doesn't look so bad here. Of course, the same can't be said for the enemy designs. Oh, is that the one with that tricky block? Where, like, it's impossible to get by? Sure, I'll find out soon enough. Is this it? No, it's not. Hit detection is very, very big here, though. Like, very big hitbox. Is that the one? No, I don't think that was the one. Notice how the enemies are just, just charging at me in, like, groups of two or three now. In the exact same pattern, in the exact same position on the screen. Exactly the same. Not once has a thing changed. Wait, is this it? Is this it? Is this the one? What the hell? I thought... Oh my god, I actually got up to level 2. I thought I was supposed to die at one point. I thought that was supposed to, like, be impassable. thought one of those blocks, like, on the left-hand side was supposed to be impassable, and... Wow! Same exact level design as the previous level, just... Retextured. What is this, like a freaking alien aquarium or something like that? It looks like an alien aquarium.
Jesus Christ, Perry. This gives me an idea for an alien aquarium, literally. Come to the Ecuadorian Aquarium where you can see generic space shooters fight each other all day. Great fun, great entertainment. Five intergalactic dollars or something like... Ah, oh, man. Something like that. Yeah. Yeah, that's a lame idea. Don't ever visit that again, Deckard. You will regret it. I don't, wait a minute! <sighs> Finally. Meong. It's like Minesweeper! Let's see how far I can get. Has anyone ever beaten this? Ah! You know what, let's try going up the right now. Serious, has anyone ever beaten this? This is like Minesweeper. It's it's like a vertical scrolling edition of <sighs> Minesweeper. I'm done playing that one. Serious, I know I'm gonna get really pissed if I play that one. Space Dreams. Seven crappy space shooters. The stars kill me. The stars do not kill me. Does Blue Star kill me? No? Come on, I'm smashing into every star under the sun. Does this kill me? Come on! Give me an object that kills me! What about this blue thing? Does this blue thing kill me? It does not. I'm invincible! What about... That kills me. Okay. Finally, something kills me. Half the shit here doesn't kill me. Wow, I've been going at this for an hour already? I'm hungry. So what do we have here? We, we got a frickin' rattle fighting teddy bears and diaper pins and... I don't know what those things are, I guess the... What, what are those things called? Stuff that hangs over babies' cradles? Whatever. And I, I don't know what that is. A diaper dispenser, I guess? What? Ah, oh, God! Ah, uh, another one of those one-hit-you-die games. Of course, the shot has to be at the end of the screen and disappear before you can fire another one. Can we stop using this mechanic, please? Okay, I'm just getting a little agitated here. Nope, trust me. Trust me, Kitty Vinkies. Those of you that bought Action 52 when you were kids, or your parents bought it for you, I totally feel your pain. Unfortunately, I did not actually get a, um, a system, a game system, myself, till two years later. I got the Sega Genesis. Wait, can this kill me? No. Okay, good. Rattles! We're fighting demented rattles now. Le level 2. Okay, I got further than Mark did. Let's see how far I can get. I... Ah, uh, God. St 
streamers! Wow. Oh. Man. Two hits already. What do you like, like four hits? Three or four hits? I... <sighs> Fuck you, money. I trusted you. Yeah, re reference to Silent Rob's review. The hats and bunnies don't seem to hurt you, though. I wonder why. Those enemy patterns are completely sporadic, too. There's no way to... Great. You have to take a hit. <sighs> sporadic enemy patterns for the lose. I'd rather be reading Konoha High School right about now. Any of you guys know what that is? Konoha High School? It's a fucking... Naruto fanfiction that I'm trying to concentrate, that's why I can't really talk. It's a uh, Naruto fanfiction that sets all the characters in high school, no less. And literally all of them ranging from Naruto to Karin and Gara and Neji and all, all the other... Ah! Damn it. And all of them are there. And it's a, uh... Sasusaku... Naruhina fanfiction. I personally can't stand fanfiction nowadays. It's just... Oh! You... <laughs> I, I can't even beat the game! God, I... No, come on. Mercy, please. Have some mercy. I'm playing your freaking game, Vince. Guy. <sighs> what do you work for Tetsujin now, Vince? You work for the Iron Angel? I can't I can't beat the level now. I took three hits. Man! Oh my god. <laughs> I'm losing patience here, as you can tell. Swear to god, if I take a hit here, I'm gonna scream. This is challenging, though. I managed to beat this once before. Can't seem to do so today, though. There's no way to avoid that hit back there. Can I make it? Ah, you... Ah. <sighs> Going back for another round. I'm not done. You hear me, streamers? I'm not done with you. Ah... One hit. That's it. Get back over there and stay there, you son of a bitch. Or feel the wrath of the mole rat. Maybe I should call my fallout brother in here. Have them come kick your ass. I forgot what I was talking about like two minutes ago. I'm sorry, guys. Oh my god, am I actually gonna beat it? Huzzah! 
Whoa. Man, that's hurting my eyes. Uh-huh. Which, which option you gonna choose, eh? The one with the frickin' crazy loony enemy or the one with the money bag? It doesn't... that just stands there and doesn't do anything all day. Oh. Get real! Oh. A little off topic. Anyone seen the next next three days? Oh, God. jeez. Yeah, you ain't killing this birthday bash mole mole rat. Level three and. White. Purple against white. God, the color palette here is terrible, but... This ain't bad. You know, if someone could remake this, this would actually be a pretty cool game. Not as good as Sh Shine Ryu, but... Yeah. Going up here. Uh-huh, smart decision, see? For great justice, I suppose. Come on. Man, would you come on? Move. Move. Oh, that's that's what you have to do. Okay, I get it now. Oh, come on, man. Come on, Deckard, you can do this. Don't tell me. Don't tell me I'm stuck. I don't want to hear that. I refuse to believe that. The hell? Oh, no! Ah... Let's see if we can avoid... Man, yeah, we can. Now, this is actually a good game. This this isn't a bad game. I mean, sure, it's glitchy, but it's... Oh, yeah, stupid me almost repeated the same mistake. <coughs> it's a good game. Streamers is a good game. I will say that right now. I'm not saying that to, to start controversy or be edgy or anything like that or go artist mode on you. No, I'm, I'm actually saying that because streamers is actually really good game. Glitchy but good. That That's the term I'll use now. Glitchy but good. Whoa! Oh, man! Flip and hit. Are you serious? Please? I'm not gonna let you ruin that. No way. Yay! I'm on to level 4. I'm almost home free. Can I beat streamers? I don't know. We'll see. Uh-oh. Uh Uh-oh. I'm in trouble. Yep. I'm in big trouble. Oh man, uh oh. <sighs> Shit. <laughs> Analog stick starting to. Ow. 
I told you this is a let's play review, guys. Oh, wow. Fucking hands. Come on. Oh, Jesus. You gotta be kidding me. Ah. Uh. Ah, I can't I can't get onto it. Ah, here we go. Here we go. Yep. There's no saving me on that one. Controls are clunky. Controls are very clunky. This is where they show their true nature. It's what they, they say to you. Hey, this is what we're really like. Now you have to deal with it. I don't want to deal with it. Oh, shit! Oh, fuck. Oops. Keep the F-bombs to a minimum, Deckard. See, that's what you gotta do. Man, piss off. What are you joking me? Oh no, no, no. Oh my god. Whew. Oh, I'd be pissed if I Oh god. Ah. Oh. Mm. Ah, God damn it. You fuck. <laughs> I don't have any more motivation to play this game now. Ah. Uh. Ah, oh, come on. <sighs> God, how long have I been at this game? Soul's sake of beating it. Just gotta be careful with the controls. No. Be careful. Would you load? Or not not load, move. Ugh. Yeah, there's no there's no avoiding taking a hit here. I guess that that's its way of inducing like challenge factor, something like that. I guess I guess that's its way of like amping up the challenge factor, but it's, it's still a pretty bogus way of amping it up. Yeah, yeah, right. Whatever.
There, there we go. Whew. Huzzah! Ha <laughs> ha! Yeah! Oh yeah! I beat streamers! Oh yeah! Hell yeah, you guys saw it here first! Spread fire! Oh, I feel like I can take on the world. Space Lobster! Wait, get away from me. God, I've had this headset on way too flippin' long. You can't kill this thing, can you? Gotta wait till it disappears. Okay, that wasn't so bad. There's no score counter here, either. Just a space lobster fighting ice cube trays, demented railroad signs, I, I don't even know what those objects are, I'm guessing like a... a camera, maybe, for that blue thing. Get away from me! Some objects are, in, are just invincible by nature. Level 3. And I, I, I don't know what the last object is. Let's see, we got demented railroad signs, cameras, ice cube trays. What's the other object? That thing that that camera keeps morphing into. These things. These things I'm sh ah, shooting at right now. I don't know, what do they look like to you? Box of crayons? Uh, the, the tops of a box of crayons? Yeah, I, I can't kill that thing. A little off topic, anyone ever played The Sims Bustin' Out? Why couldn't they take some of the objects in there, like that gigantic TV or that frickin' military-style door, and put them into the latter games? Later games. Well, ladder, later, whichever one you want to call it. Like The Sims... Sims 2 or something. Level 4, my god. Somebody l must really like lobster. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa! Okay, yeah, how was I supposed to avoid that? I, now, anyways, back to the Sims discussion. Why couldn't, like, EA or Maxis or who... Uh, whoever makes the Sims games just take some of the objects from there and put them into, like, The Sims 2 or something like that? Because those are some really cool objects. You even... Ah... Uh, you even had a robot. Literally, a robot. L level 5, my god. Yeah, a robot that would, that would, uh... I, I, if I remember correctly, you would... do your housework. You, you would clean up your house and he would fend off any intruders. I think that was it, yeah. Ah. Bubblegum Rosie, oh, I remember this one. Maybe I should get that robot in here, you know? Ah. What? Alright, he took a hit back there. Yeah, spikes don't do anything to you. So why should... Why should these guys do anything to you? And another thing, what's with the sporadic count in lives? I mean, one game you have like eight, the other game you only have like... Two. I, I don't get it. <sighs> yeah. Game's starting to agitate me just a little bit. What's the next one? Micro Mike. Oh my god.
What did Mark say about this game, that that death sound effect Viagra should attach that to their commercials or something? Aha! If you get pushed all the way back to the left side of the screen, you lose. Almost there. Oh, man! Or if you take too many hits. Gotta perform flawlessly, see? I... Another thing, just... Gunshots come out of nowhere in this game, come on! The hell? I'm not even gonna bother if I... Yeah, I'm, I'm not even gonna bother. It's impossible to play this freaking game. <clears throat> Underground... Uh, I can fire bolts out of his back. The mushrooms killed me. <sighs> like, I don't even want to spend time with these games anymore. They're so awful. I mean, this, this is just another freaking shooter that... Enemies just pop out of nowhere, you get killed on a whim. Enemies block the screen or, or crowd, crowd the place to the point where you can't even get up and get it... Get a decent shot. Like the little cluster up the, up in the ladder. Mushrooms kill you. What? <sighs> Notice how whenever I kill an enemy, it says POW! Yeah, it's impossible. It's impossible to kill all those enemies. It's impossible to play that game. Rocket Jock! I think this is the seventh crappy space shooter. We'll count that as seven. Seven crappy space shooters. Yeehaw! We in the future, we ride rockets and rustle cattle. Isn't that what Mark said? He also made, made a comparison to, like, Dr. Strangelove or something like that? Space cattle! Going across the surface of Mars. The 8-bit version. Yay, and absolutely nothing has changed. What a surprise. Actually, that is a surprise. Because normally, normally the, uh, the subsequent levels, like, retexture the environments at the very least. God, I've been at this thing an hour and a half. Okay. You serious? That's it. Two levels? Well, whatever. I, I don't care. Crappy space shooter number seven, and here we go. Non-human. Oh, a frickin' pressure cooker with arms and a set of de deranged dental teeth. And... Just got eaten by the Elton John heads. Oh my god. See, there's a point where you, uh... Where if the enemy reaches it... The enemy... <laughs> if the enemy reaches a certain... You saw that, right? I was just standing over the frickin' pit and... Where if the enemy reaches a certain height, you cannot hurt them. Oh... My... God. Like, his jumping... Like, his vertical ascension just slowed down there. But... 
it, the, the, the speed in which he traveled in horizontally stayed the same. Oh, man. One more time and... Getting a little mad here. <sighs> Fuck! Alright, that's it. Screw you, non-human. Crybaby. Oh, wait a minute. Here we go. Oh yeah, I take my... I, I don't even want to guess as what that is. You fall two inches, you die in this game, too. What, is this like a little kid who escaped an office building or something? Now everyone's trying to... find him? Yeah, you, you got, like, cops, you got lab technicians. <sighs> See? He's crying. Avoid the adults, which will make him cry. I think I know the objective of this game now. Maybe I should write a ten-part fanfiction on this! Come on. <sighs> Come on. Level, level, level two. Mark never made it up to level two. I know, I'm drawing a lot of comparisons between mine and Mark's review. This game isn't actually that difficult to play. It's just not a lot of fun. Like Haze. Wait a minute, why do they have two health bars there? I mean, I, I first I thought one was like a stamina bar or something like that, but... They both... They both degrade, or, or depreciate this at the... The exact same rate. It's like they take damage together, so what's the point of having two health bars? What's the point? Level... <sighs> Level 3 of the infamous office building. You know, I had to go play office disorders after this. Anyone play Office Disorders? It was an indie game. The Xbox Live Arcade. Costs you a dollar. Much like I made a game with zombies in it. That cost me a dollar too. Along with a few other games that cost me a dollar. One of them which was not worth it. Yes. A game cannot can sometimes not be worth a simple dollar. It was that bad? Much like this game isn't. Yeah, Office Disorders, a satire corporate corporate game, makes fun of everything in the corporate world, even this gigantic bailout. You you have to, you once have to go to Congress to get a bailout, and then you get fired. This music sounds like it should be in The Sims and... Oh my god, level 4, we get to continue the mediocrity. D darn it. I had to adjust my headset there.
All right. Hold on. I had to take off my headset there, sorry. Yes, believe it or not, if you wear a headset for too long, it will hurt your ears. Ah. You know what? I that that's it. I'm quitting. So where were we? Slashers. Oh. Fantastic this one. All I got to do is hold down the turbo button. That's it. Haven't lost a drop of health. Fighting the same two generic... T two or three generic enemies... Time and time again. What? Hey! Must have been the boss. See that guy I couldn't get by? Wow, there's a lot of enemies here. Serious, there's been no change of gameplay whatsoever. Oh, the uber enemy. And yeah, when your attacks stop working. Serious, is this just like one big level that just keeps going on and on and on and on? Wow, level two, I'm down in a down on the street now. And nothing. God damn it, another Uber enemy. There's no way to tell which one either. Ah, come on. Serious, there's there's nothing to this game. Same two or three attacks. Same two generic enemies. Oh no, we're in the subway now, sorry. We're not on the rooftops. Oh man, the boss. <sighs> the hell with this. Crazy shuffle. Eh. How'd I die? I, I don't understand this game. This game is completely schizophrenic. Like, literally, I don't understand it. Sorry, guys, I got nothing on that one. Crazy Shuffle. Can't understand it. Fuzz Power, what's this? Oh, Jesus, this one. A pair of feet with 
freaking full head of hair, apparently. How's that possible? Does he, does he even attack? What? Your attack's no good against him. Fighting a freaking haired. Oh, oh, he does have an attack. Okay. Another stupid side scroller. Nothing. Fucking nothing. Except the bullets are impossible to dodge. Impossible to play. Shooting gallery. What's this? Oh. Eight crappy space shooters. Wow, one thing is worth a hundred points. It's completely sporadic, too. You never know what point value you're gonna get. Because I think all the enemies change their, their point values. It's just, point values are assigned at random, and that's it. That's it. Eight crappy space shooters. Lollipop! What? Oh my god. Another crappy side-scroller. Crying out loud. Nothing to say. Again. I think by now, Action 52 has completely run out of tricks. Not that it had any to begin with. Evil Empire. Oh, this, this is the one. We can fire while you're on the ladder, so that's good. That's a good thing. Okay, blow up. What is that, like the tiny version of Mega Man? Level 2. Okay. Ah, oh, great. We got enemies that can fly now. Of course, it barely even touched me, and it killed me. What is this thing? These power-ups designed to- are they power-ups designed to help me? Another crappy frickin- <sighs> Crappy clone of Chill-Out. Even worse than Chill-Out. Sombreros. Sombreros, or whatever. <sighs> Yeah, my Spanish isn't the best, although I did take it at one point. Do I, do I remember anything from it? Nope. These Oh, that's right, I go around collecting hats. Look out for cars. Cars that want to kill me. What's this dude doing in the middle of the street collecting hats, dodging cars? And it's the same car model, too. Darn it. Okay, what's the point of this game? Is this dude just... 
And who's that? Is that his neighbor? That his neighbor or something? I, I don't get it. I don't get this game. You know, I honestly think that Active Enterprises ran out of ideas by the time they got to Sombreros. Sombreros. So I can't roll my tongue. Sorry, guys. Oh, look, now his neighbors are attacking me. Yarg, you steal our hats, our sombrero, sombreros or whatever. We kill you. Yeah, I, I've pretty much run out of steam at this point. I think the game has too. Oh, good, he's trapped behind there. Good, he can stay there. Jesus. Wait. Okay, so bushes do not protect me, apparently. This is supposed to be the fixed version of Action 52, yet half the shit glitches out. W what's the objective? Do I need to get to the end of the level? Do I need to collect a certain amount of hats? What? Tell me. Wish I had the manual to this game. Ugh. We had a bunch of really crappy games to begin with. And we had irritating games. And we have boring games. What's next? <sighs> like, I don't even want to continue playing at this point. Yeah, I mean, guys, I totally feel your pain. I really, really do. Level 3, Jesus. Oh, uh, was he breaking into his neighbor's houses now? A little patch of road connecting two pieces of barren wasteland desert. Uh. I got nothing. I, I got absolutely nothing. <sighs> the hell with this. Storm over the desert. Another one with a title sequence. One of three, I believe. Oh, yay! Saddam Hussein. Based off of Operation Desert Storm. Now, how are you supposed to hit something that small? Serious. Come on, let's kill Saddam Hussein. Did I kill him? Did he get a hit on me? What? Game is some of the wonkiest hit detection ever. Come on, can I kill Saddam already? Again, enemies appear completely sporadically. Nothing. Absolutely nothing. Le level, level two. Okay, fine. Now the enemies are just coming at me a little bit faster. Wait, I I just shot Saddam. Saddam, you bastard, you better die the next time I shoot you. Whoa! Shit! Did I get him? I think I did. Nope, I, I don't think I did. There's... Ah, I just took another hit. Shit! 
shoot. Ah, Why does every single goddamn game in this package need to use the frickin' shot needs to disappear before you can fire another one? Don't they realize how irritating that is? It's just like Deadly Towers. What, my shot didn't even register there. Die. Oh, my God. I am not going to stop playing this game until I kill Saddam. You di die. Die. Die, Saddam. Die. Come on, man. I just had, like, four chances to kill him. Come on! I know I'm complaining a lot, but... Man! Level 3. Alright, I'm getting just a little bit agitated right now. Just a generic shooter, again. Just another freaking shooter in its most basic form. You can't get any more basic than this. Die, you... Man, Saddam is a quick little bastard. Alright, you know what? I, I don't even care. Hell with this. Mash Man. Oh, okay. I don't even know what that thing is. It's like one little line or something like that. Oh, a triangle. We're gonna see the little mini sailboat? No, not yet. Maybe it doesn't show up on the emulator. Ah, here it is. Here's our little mini sailboat, which we'll see again in the Cheetah Men. Generic side-scrolling jumping action. <sighs> not even trying anymore. Level 2. What are the, what do those things in the background look like, too? They look like buildings. Like Tetris... Like buildings made out of Tetris blocks. Except really twisted and deformed versions. You know what? I, I don't care. I give up. They came. Yeah, I certainly didn't after playing this. Is that a power-up? Let's collect them. Well, yeah, I did... No, wait a second. Ooh, die. Die. Serious, die. Okay, no, no, it doesn't use that whole, uh, shot needs to be at end of... Sc <sighs> at the end of the screen for you to fire another one. That's the biggest gripe I have with so many of these crappy shooters, and this is the ninth frickin' space shooter, is that so many of them use that mechanic, and it's almost impossible to defend yourself in that case. If only they just wouldn't use that mechanic, most of the games here would be alright. But no, instead of focusing on making, like, one decent game, they had to make 52 piles of garbage. Just, what were they thinking? It's like that spike column in God of War. That's why I never finished God of War. 
because I couldn't get past that damn thing. What were they thinking when they put that in? Level two. Do I die if I if I touch that? No, I don't. If I did, the level would be almost impossible to play. Why do I die if I... So I don't die if I... Y yep, I die if I touch that. <sighs> yeah, they came. I certainly didn't. Laser League! Tenth crappy space shooter. Billy Bob! Was that Mark said? All right, Thornton and no relation. Wow, the animations are actually decent in this freaking game. This has got to be the most detailed animations in the entire game. Problem is, one hit, and you're dead. Uh just like that temple at the end of Alone in the Dark. Is it even possible to get past that gap? <sighs> Come on. I almost made it, too. I could have made that bitch. Yes! I made it! Alright, don't fall, don't fall. <sighs> One more time. One more time, and then we'll move on. Watching Howl's Moving Castle is looking better already. Fuck you, Billy Bob. City of Doom. Yay, Spider-Man on the Atari, and... Wait, 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 wait. Touch the windows, I die. I'm not even bothering at this point. Maybe they should have just called it Building of Doom. Or Never Ending Skyscraper of Doom. Whatever. Yeah, game over. Damn straight it is. Bits and pieces. What's this? Oh! This is that, uh, uh, this is that side scrolling game where. Another side-scrolling game. Just... Wow! You mean I gotta do that every time a frickin' enemy comes along? God, God damn it, Vince. What were you guys thinking? Dead again. Dodge the skeleton. I... <sighs> Screw you. Beeps and blips. Hi, kids. It's They Came all over again. I'm getting a headache right about now. This game is crappy. It's definitely more engrossing than they came. At least you can go anywhere on the screen without frickin' dying.
Yep, done with this one, too. Manchester. I know a Manchester. I think that's a town near where I live. Oh, yeah, that's... Th this. I, I can't tell if this is one with the uh, the jumping sound effect. Like, every time you jump, the sound effect plays. I still have my headset off. Jesus. I don't even care, boss. Wow, I actually got past that one. Yeah. The boss of this company needs to die. Yeah, I just died out of nowhere. Yeah, I'm I'm done with that one too. Dead ant. Crappy space shooter number eleven. Thrusters. Oh wait, wait, sorry guys. Sorry. My mistake. What the Yeah. Hambo's Adventures. Gee, what does this look like? Hmm. Could it be... Illuminator? I... It's a Donkey Kong ripoff. A blatant Donkey Kong ripoff. Blatant Donkey Kong ripoff. Fuck. One more time. Yep, I'm done. Time warp. There's a delay between when you actually push the button and when you actually jump. Ah, that's how you attack. Okay, okay. This looks like a freaking... I think Mark said this too, Animaniacs. It looks like... This world looks like something that the Animaniacs would create if they took over time and space itself. Death comes out of nowhere again, just like ooze. Alright, alright, my, my head is officially... just... spun entirely out of control right now. I've got such... such a headache. Like, I am really just... fighting the urge not to just curse and scream at the top of my lungs. Time Warp, another one of the games that didn't work. Probably would have been best if it actually worked. Or, no, no, Jigsaw, Jigsaw. Ninja Assault. You know, Mark actually stated in a Shinobi review that he actually liked this game better than the NES version of Shinobi. Which is fine, you know, to each his own, but... Me, personally, I'd rather play Shinobi on the NES than this, which I have. I've played the Genesis version, too. I'd rather play the Genesis version than either of those games. But no, I'd rather play Shinobi on the... NES than this. It's not a fucking dog. It's not a bad game. It's not great. Your typical side scrolling action game. Nothing like the Genesis version, though. I'll give it that. Ah. Uh... Yeah, basic combat. You only gotta watch out for freaking dogs. Nothing else left to say on this.
Yeah, I'm, I'm sorry guys, I got nothing left. I mean, I'm gonna recap now. The, the main problem with a lot of Action 52's games is that... They're, they're basic platformers and space shooters and side-scrolling action games. The problem is, is that many of them either have bad controls, or they're just buggy as all hell. This game was not bug-tested at all. Well, it might have been bug-tested, but very little, if at all. That's the main issue with Action 52. Yeah, now I'm dead. This game would barely be recommendable if it was... If it was for like 20 bucks. It's a bunch of basic games. And I mean in like their most basic form possible. That were never, re never debugged. I mean, save for Cheetahmen, which I guess all the debugging effort went to that. And so far, N Ninja Assault is the only game that which the screen hasn't completely glitched out. Every single other game has glitched out. There's very, very few good things I can say about this game. I would have liked to have seen a Cheetahmen comic, that would have been interesting. And hey, to all you Infamous fans, the first Infamous comic is out, too. It was just in a comic shop the other day, too. I should have picked it up. <sighs> what am I fighting? I mean, I'm fighting rockets, I'm fighting people. What are those things? Square that shoot... I don't know, I guess... Diamonds? Squares that shoot diamonds. Diamond shooting squares. I'm fighting diamond shooting squares. By the way, Mark, your method does not work on this. I've been holding down the turbo button non-stop. Still dying like crazy. Oh, that is dangerous. And I'm dead. Alright. Here we go. The action game master was at home playing his video game when suddenly... Dot dot dot. An arm reached out of the TV and pulled him inside. Dot 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 dot. When he looked up, he saw three gigantic yellow bodies. It was the Cheetah Men. Dot 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 dot. He began to explain. Dot 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 dot. The Cheetah Men told of the enemies here in the game world. Don't worry, we will fight for you. The Cheetah Men ran off, and now... The Cheetah Men. Twelve dots. During this game, you will have three Cheetah Men, dot dot dot, a different one in every second level to fight for you. Six levels in total. Action Game Master? I thought it was called the Cheetah Men. Use Ares Wooden Clubs and Martial Arts skills to defeat the enemies on the first two levels. Okay. Here we go. Here we go. You fall into one of those pits, you're a gunner. Well, darn it. Already took a goddamn hit. So all you gotta do is just keep the turbo button pressed down, you'll be fine. Almost done with the first level. Didn't even think I was gonna get this far, to be honest. Come on, can we stop throwing the most generic enemies known to mankind at me? Level 2. Yeah, I should let you know that was the only level that was in 3D. Saddam Hussein, I finally got you, you little bastard. But yeah, this is what Action 52 was. 
It was a marketing ploy to sell toys, comics, even a TV show of these guys, which I would have liked to have seen. There's actually some pretty good artwork on DeviantArt, too. I would have loved to have seen a Cheetah Men comic. I mean, I never grew up with the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. No, that wasn't my thing back then. Although I do know who they are. I have seen all three movies. Third one is garbage. Really? Just, like... Jesus Christ! I don't have a chance in hell when these guys just keep popping, like, right in front of me and give me... <laughs> give me a split second to react! Yeah, a TV show, a comic... Some action figures? That wouldn't have been so bad. Might have even gotten into it as a kid. But no. Said I was stuck watching Power Rangers Turbo. My god, was that show awful. To be honest, I'd rather read a Cheetahman comic than watch that show, and I'd rather watch that show than play this game. There was even a movie, which I used to love as a kid. I don't know why. Turbo, a Power Rangers movie. I think I might go back and riff on that one. But yeah, this is it. Action 52. 51 basic games that were not bug-tested whatsoever, and then you got this, which was supposed to be the pilot launch or something like that for a... for a new franchise, which never got off the ground. That's all it was, and at $200 to play this. I'm sure if I bought this for my kid back in 91, if I had any, I'd be pretty pissed too. nothing else to say. This is it. What I just stated is exactly what Action 52 is. And it's awful. It's a total ripoff. Just a cash cow. It's garbage. Should be played by no one. And serious, I feel ripped off and I didn't pay a damn thing for this. I just downloaded it. Oh, yeah, and we had ten crappy space shooters. Even more if you wanted to count the ones where we were just standing still. Does that make like 12, 13, 14 maybe? I, I don't know. Billy Bob had some potential to be a good game. Still gotta get that catchy tune off Sharks, though. You know, you'd think I, I would have memorized where all the enemies were gonna pop out of and just slain them all at this point, but... No, I, I don't even care anymore. Yeah, die, Saddam. Every single recycled sprite sound effect and everything just all pops up. This one game, and I just lost my last life, so I'm just gonna go out on a limb and just say this. Action 52 is garbage, do not play it, blah blah blah, usual cliche speech at the end of playing a bad game, and you know what? Mark, Rob, all you guys that reviewed this game, yeah, you guys were right. This game is terrible. So, to Vince Perry, wherever you may be, I just want to let you know you destroyed a bunch of different, like, who knows how many childhoods, and just wasted two hours of my life, and I hope you can't sleep at night, and... Whatever. Action 52 sucks. That's it. Good night, everyone.